What's up everybody, this is going to be a quick update of what I got at the Hamburg Reptile Show or Northern Berks Reptile Expo. Um, it's in Pennsylvania. It's one of, I think it said second or third largest expo on the East Coast. So I'm happy I got to it. I've been to it before, but last time I got my Pac-Man frog who is buried somewhere in his enclosure so but what I got this time he's just peeking his head out above his leaves there see him this is my timber monitor this is a blue spot timber monitor it's still a juvenile he's in shed right now if you can see that thing hanging off his face or his chin um he's eating really well he had eggs this morning that was pretty much full but he ate what he wanted and then from moving around buried it he spends a lot of time in his hide there because they are a shy species of monitor and they're not ones to be handled regularly or at all. So this is pretty much my showpiece. Um, I will be building a enclosure for him or her. I don't know the sex, but its name is Timon. Um, but anyway, I'm building the enclosure. I believe it's going to be six by six tall by three wide by two deep or something like that. Um, I'm hoping to put a water feature or something in it because they are tropical. They do like a high humidity. <clears throat> Speaking of which, I'm going to have to spray it down then, but I'm not going to... I don't want to freak him out for the video. Um, but yeah, that's it. There'll be feeding videos of him up, and if you want any um, any videos on my monitor, I care or anything, I can put those up to them. And um, the other thing I got at the show are in here. These are some people's worst nightmare. But they're going to be my guy's feeders. I see if I I'm gonna see if he'll eat one right now. And I just have to move slowly and try not to scare him. My these are what I feed with right now because I lost my other things. All right, he's still calm. He's watching me. If I can ever freaking pick this up. Crap. Alright, hold on. This one just molted. I don't know. I think he's going to eat. He's probably just going to freak out. Yeah, he's not interested. Alright. Um... I'll let him go. I don't want to stress him too much. I can feed this to my snapping turtle really quick for the video, though. I have rocks on top because this is a loose-fitting lid, and I don't want him to escape. Uh, my snapping turtle just kind of ripped its head off, but... He's going to finish that up. Um, if you want any videos on this guy, I can get him to eat the dubias when he's in his cave, and I put them in there. So if you want a video on feeding or care, just put them in the comments. Rates are appreciated, and so are subscriptions. Um, I'll be posting more videos up. Um, I might be going herping tomorrow, so if I catch 
any anything I'll post post a video. Uh, there will be most likely some garter snakes caught. <laughs> Put one at least. I need at least one of those up. I guess. Um, I already have a two videos on eastern milk snakes, so you can check those out. Uh, check out my other videos on my leopard geckos. I might have a feeding video up for my Pac-Man frog too. Uh, not Pac-Man. Why? Why did I say Pac-Man? It's my African bullfrog. Um, believe my can put a video up for this guy if you want, or my geckos or snapping turtle once I. Oh, and uh, this isn't how I keep him. His cage is where you can see the water line there, right? I don't know if you can. Yeah, there, there's that water line. That's where his enclosure is normally full to. Uh, I'm kind of cleaning it, but I forgot to make the video, so I figured I'd do that quick. Um, I feed, I clean out his enclosure every five, six days, ish. Um, so I, it always gets caught empty like that, because that's when I think to do the videos is when I'm kind of working with him. So yeah, rate, subscribe, and comment. Tell me what you want. And yeah, see you guys. Oh, and one more thing, my uh, my female albino leopard gecko is has another clutch of eggs in her. So keep watching for that. And see ya.